Welcome ladies and gentlemen to a brand new Europa Universalis 4 Let's play on the extended timeline mod Today we are going to be playing the third Rome, Which is a scenario I cooked up That is basically playing as Italy forming the third Rome. And now a lot of people, and I believe a lot of, well not a lot of people But a lot of things say that the third Rome is Moscow Or Russia We're going to be making the third Rome out of Italy A fascist dictatorship that controls the entirety of Europe. That is my goal. I have no clue how long it will take, but it will take a while, probably. So, Donatic, there, there, that can fuck off. Yep, everything's fine there. Let's play. So, playing as Italy is something, oh shit, not my mic, something I haven't done in uh, this mod. And I haven't really done anything in this mod, actually. I don't really play it that often. The only time I've played it, I played as Germany. And conquering Europe took the piss. So yeah, even if Germany took the piss, but we're going to be doing is obviously setting a government up, and I'm just picking random provinces for these uh, seats because we're not going to have a parliamentary government for long. So pretty much just picking anywhere is a good a good enough for now. Come on, that should be enough, isn't it? Oh, one more, I think. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be conquering Europe as a fascist dictatorship to secure. Uh, a stronger government for ourselves, and the game has not given me what I would like here. No, it hasn't. No ways to weaken my republic authority. First thing we need to do is get the National Social Socialist Party into uh, the leadership, which means we need to spend a couple of points into military. We get 106 gold at the moment, and our rivals are Great Britain, <laughs> fucking Germany, and Poland. So we kind of got shafted. Starting wise, because get Germany is not someone you want starting against you. They are the strongest European, I believe. I believe they're stronger than Russia. I don't know at the moment. America and no, I'm never going to be allies. Great Britain hates us. Germany hates us. So we are against all consuming powers at the moment. If you look at income, we're we're against. The only ally we can get is. Less, lower than us in the income. But yep, there. 174. We're on 342. We have a better income than Germany at the moment, apparently. Let's uh, play a day. Right. Shit's all gone through. All the decisions made. So the game should be laggish free from for now. And the French offered us Alliance Day 1 because they're friendly with us. Which I expected them to do. Because I did do something to make sure and figure out how this scenario is going to lay out and how the starting looks. Now we're paying only 34 gold for all our forts. That's actually fucking a lot of money, isn't it? But oh well. Um, Rome is a 82 development. That's nothing in comparison to Berlin, which is 148. Uh, Paris, 143. London, 136. I think Madrid's up there as well. No, not, yeah, 96. So, I believe Italy is one of the lowest capitals in Europe. I think Moscow is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, for no, Moscow's only 59. Wow. And then again, Russia has a lot of land. So, in this mod, a lot of the provinces are really cheap. It's really cheap to grow small provinces as well. So, look. 15, 16. That's fine. I believe we need a really, really small one. And I can show just how, just show just how small it, cheap it is. There. 9 development. It'll cost 1. So, you just have to put 1 point in and you can go up, which is... Amazing. Now we have unlocked all of our ideas, of course, and I haven't actually picked one where I'm going with these yet. Because we're going to need um, aggressive expansion will definitely help, but we're going to need we're going to need to finish quality first and uh, get on away with that. Currently, we have a free for free uh, Sergio Martelli, who we're going to intend I intend to keep in power uh, for as long as possible because he's going to be the guy who leads us into the dictatorship. And we're going to be building training fields in the entirety of our country. They are the most important building for us at the moment, leading into our uh, forming of a fascist government. Purely because we need the fucking manpower for the amount of troops we're going to be able to hold as soon as we become a fascist government. Uh, I can't show you the way, can't show you exactly how strong it will be yet, but I can show you. I know I can't show you what we're getting either, so at the moment we're just, you're just going to have to take my word. But the main goal is to first take over Europe, which uh, there's various steps to getting out of Europe. Getting Europe under our control we need to take. 
Now this is definitely going to take a very long time, and it, and for a lot of it we may play on two speed because, yeah, it's, it's, a lot of shit goes on in the modern day scenario, such as the ISIS state forming, which we might want to fight. Uh, taking over Africa, which could be a goal long term, but um, yeah, I've the extended time mod I've looked at a while and I've wanted to play, but I just couldn't think of a scenario that was really fun. So I thought I, 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 from all the playing I've done as Germany forming the Fourth Reich, as it should be called, as it's the Fourth Fascist Purge State or whatever, whatever the like futuristic state is called. So yeah, I played around with that a lot, and I thought, you know what, what's a because I've played in Germany so many times, I thought playing as Italy is probably the next best thing. Now we're going to hire the cheapest advisors possible for now, because I need the extra points, but I don't want to spend too much of this income, because we need, like I said, to upgrade every single one of our... How many provinces do we have? Let's have... Let me, let's do some state uh, maths. We have 40 provinces, and we need each of them to have a, a building that costs 270. We're going to need 11,340 gold. That's a shit ton of gold. We have a thousand. It's going to take a while to build all of these. Once we have them, I mean, yeah, a lot of our provinces are decent. Uh, we're going to get loads of manpower from uh, Rome itself. So yeah, at the moment we need to now uh, organize armies. So we're going to... Rome, how big is your force? Number 102. I think we have 100, less than 102 men. Now the game is going to be very laggy in the beginning of the game because, well, my computer hates this game for the most part. And also due to the fact of there's so much shit going on at once. Actually, no, no, don't fucking do ingenuity. That's stupid. Uh, where is the best to pull from? We don't have really... Venice and Genoa, we've got... Are both end nodes, so fuck at the moment. I just just pull from Tunis for now. Tunis, I will tu I will take over Tunisia, but uh, they have uh, yeah Corian cost, so it's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be hard. Uh, our main navy for now will just sit here. Yeah, we have less than we have. Wow, we hardly have any troops. How many troops do we have? Game, hundred two thousand. No, we have. Wait, what? Oh, we have a twenty three k down here as well. I thought I was missing an army. It didn't look right. Um, these missions, I'm not really going to be paying attention to because we have our own. As long if they align with my agenda, I will try and do them. But unless they align up pretty well with my agenda, it's not going to be something I do. And I think, oh, we're not even a kingdom. We're a duchy. Ah, because we're a regular member of the HRE. By the HRE, it means the European Union. So that's something to state. All these guys, are, apart from Russia, are under the. These are, this is the EU at the moment. Belgium is the current seat or leader of the EU. And this is basically something we do not want to be of for long if we're planning on conquering the entirety of the EU. So that is going to be this, one of the steps, leaving the European Union. It's not advantageous at all. It's quite literally the opposite of advantageous for what we're trying to do or what I'm trying to do. Uh, I mean, yes, it does give us some good things, but being out of the Union will give us the ability to, well, kick the living shit out of the Union. And I believe there's also various reasons... You, well, there is various reasons you don't want to be in the Union. I can't remember most of them at the moment. And when it says it, it will never f pick up the actual leader, all you have to do is look up, obviously, here, and it'll tell you who the current leader is. You get events from time to time telling you different things. Also, we should rival people who we want to expand into uh, pretty swiftly. At the moment, I'm going to leave it blank because, well, it's not really a smart thing to fucking put in. And as you can see, Germany has 70% more men than us, and we are very close to our limit. So yes, the thing I need to do, all you're going to go in one army, easily. I think I'll have, I think I'll have a 15k infantry. How do how do France have their armies? They have their fucking fifty one stacks though, so they they have like fifty one death stacks. So ten fifteen. I'm gonna make that ten fifteen fifteen. So that'll be a forty k stack. Ten wait a minute. Fucking hell. There you go. 
Are you over there for now? Yeah, we'll uh, get rid of the uh, free for now. No, we'll leave the 50. You stay there. Right. Um, none of that matters. For now, anyway. Alright, so we have 11 military points, which means we can immediately start putting points into the National Socialist Party, which we are now is now in power, which means we can now adopt a fascist government, which is a very advantageous thing to do, as I've said. The earliest we'll probably be able to do it is 2019, which is quite a while away, of course. Not this part, but it's a future goal. And the only reason not this part is because it's going to take a fucking while, and I'm going to be playing on two-speed for a lot of the time to get, while well, I set everything up at least. Right, the first thing I want to do is actually create a template for 15 cannons. Because we're not always going to be able to create armies like, like off there, uh, like instantly. Ca <laughs> I can't spell. Cav. Oh, there it is. See, it's not too 15k cav. How does that one take? Yeah, 15 provinces. Ha ha. Uh, no. 10k cav. 15k infantry. Now, there is a reason I'm doing these all separate and then a 40k army. Which, at the moment, will give us access to free armies. Which, either way, is... We could actually create a 40k army all at once. So that's pretty useful. So, uh, at the moment, I'm just going to create the five cannons up here I need to create. That'll do for now. Uh, deck, yeah, don't compare. Let's just not pay attention to that because it's not important. Spain, I would like to be your ally, but really not a good choice for me at the moment. Uh, killing you is definitely a good idea. Now make sure you fabricate, fabricate, fabricate because there is no imperialism at the moment anymore. You're always going to need claims and shit like that. And and the, oh yes, imperialism is when you're out of the H, the empire. The European Union, that's when you get uh, uh, the ability to fabricate, uh, not fabricate, imperialism, if I remember correctly, which is one of the reasons you leave the Empire Union, whatever. <laughs> yeah, this Spain is now the EU leader, as will be denoted by this, so that's very interesting, blah, blah, blah. Felt hats, whatever. You hate me because was at war. Turkey would like an alliance. Well, as I don't want an alliance with you, you're not getting one. Now, alliance chains. Germany is a Spanish ally. Ooh, France is an ally with alliance with them. Oh, game. That's just such a beautiful event. They have to be under 50, so we're... But we also need to get uh, the influence of the socialist up 10 more, so by the end of this month we'll be able to do that. Right, so we're very close to enacting the first part of our plan, and now we're going to enact this part. The mass build-up of armies. Malta is its own fucking country, I did not realise that. And the, the first things we're going to do is work on the islands. And then we will uh, start going from the south upwards. If need be, I will turn my forts off, but for now I'm going to leave them on. A lot of shit goes on in this game, so it's really useful when you take... The game starts getting a lot better the more you take over, because it just... it's There's less AIs pissing about, and it's more you. You're just your shit happening. But yeah, our guys still look... Don't they really suit, but they'll do. So here we go. There's our 40k. This is going to be our standard army. At the moment, I look like I'm ready for four standard armies, which... As I said, it's not going to be something we can have on a 136, well, 139 limit and 101,000 manpower. Well, that's how many men we can have overall at the moment. Which is why we need to enact mass building of training fields. 
because, well, without them we're kind of fucked. But yeah, how's our claim going on you? I'm pretty sure we've been discovered. Getting the French to like us is a good idea. Because they, they like Great Britain at the moment. And Great Britain just fucking hates me. So we'd have imperialism against pretty much everyone outside of the Union. Which will happen for a long time, but a lot of these people are going to start joining the Union and it's going to get really annoying. So being out of the Union is normally a good thing. But honestly, getting stronger is probably the better thing to do first. Because you don't want to leave too quickly. You would like to get, you need to get power so you, you don't have to worry about whoever the leader is. Because there is a chance that Germany, France and Great Britain could end up being the leader, which... Needless to say, can really fucking slow shit down. It uh, as Germany, it didn't really slow me down at all, but I'm I'm foreseeing Italy having a quite a different approach to that problem, mainly a shit ain't gonna work type of problem. And now Spain is still the leader. Spain, I don't really think it's gonna be too pro problematic if they were the leader. I mean, naval wise, actually, let's have a look. Uh, economy wise. I would have beat them. Germany, yep, as I would what I said, Germany is much better economy than us. Army wise, uh, 778,000, 724,000. Germany has the biggest European army, that is not obviously Russia. Well, Russia, Germany, France, Britain, then me, and Spain is 84,000. So Spain's not that good in comparison to me. So I could probably fight Spain. But because they're I with Germany, yeah, I wouldn't want to. Because it would co rise them, all, all that bullshit, so. The 15 cannons cost 450 and will take 114 days. It needs to be done. We need at least three armies acting ready. And our military bill is going to skyrocket pretty swiftly. Right, here we go. We're now up to 55, the national... Socialists are going to be staying in power for pretty much the entire game now because once we become fascist, they don't get it. Nobody has a choice. They, they stay in power. Um, I want to change to M16, but there's no point because soon enough we will be getting land warriors, so there's nothing to worry about there. So, at the moment, we just need to wait. We do have two idea sets we need to pick. I would like quantity as well because extra manpower will really help us when we're as a fascist government. But also, I would like ex I would like probably influence or something. No, no, probably diplomatic, just so I can get myself out of situations like diplomatic situations, like marriages and shit. Oh yeah, not marriages are a problem. Still, I'd rather be able to get my way out of problems without necessarily having to rely on the fact that I'm just going to lose ability anyway, so just losing it. I'd rather not have that problem. Uh, the nation of Azerbaijan has westernized, good for them. Iraq looks like they're having a lot of problems with the Islamic State, whereas Syria has completely got rid of this problem. Interesting. Israel is... Iceland joined the Union, and as you can see, we lose imperialism against them because of it. That moment where Jerusalem's a shit ton better than us. Uh, in this one moment, I, am a, I should take the stability, but I'm going to take the money. So my, I can fund my uh, construction of these quicker. Macedonia, or Macedonia has joined the country here. A country who for some reason would like an alliance with us. Spain, as they do, declared one. Morocco, uh, you're rivaled with France and Great Britain, so alliance with you is not on the cards, really. Which honestly does, it's not the best thing in the world. I would personally like an alliance with them, but if they're not, not I really don't want to push France away, because France is definitely the strongest ally we could hope for at the moment, thanks to Great Britain and Germany both putting us in a position where we can't really do shit against them. So how much, oh fuck, no, stay there please, uh, how, ah, my leader died. This is not what you want. Not at all. He was 35 as well, which means he's really shit, so... 
So we're going to get a military candidate, which means 21 is now the least. We need at least 225. We need a decent leader, because he's a, he becomes a dictator, so. We can't have someone in power all of turn to you as shit. Yeah, a ducker a month for a cannon. Spain is the leader of the Union still. I really couldn't give a shit about this, but yeah, I'm just going to turn that off. I don't really care. Um, there's got to be, there's loads of these to pick from. Uh, all countries have different ones because, well, because obviously a lot of them have picked different ideas and whatnot. See, the thing is, we could go straight to the fascist government now. We, all we'd have to do is get our stability up to one. Kosovo joined the Union. Not something we want, but the game is going to pretend like we wanted it. As you can notice, our economy will go down 15 gold every single time we build a shit ton of cannons, which is not stoppable at all. So there's, it's just something we're going to have to go with. Now, at the end of this month, I would like to see what my manpower goes up from, from 103,000 to probably, hopefully, at least 110. Especially as I've built five of them, so maybe 115 at a push. I, I don't think it will, but I'm going to cross my fingers. Very close, 112. That's decent. And that was just from these two and these three. So that was definitely very good. Malta, are you, the, are you in the Union? Motherfucker you are. Which means I have to have a claim. Or a reason to fight. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys have enjoyed the intro to the Third Rome campaign. Where we try and re recreate the Roman Empire under a fascist dictatorship. Um, there will be many more like this, I hope, in the future. There's different countries. There's different types of governments. Different types of questionable governments as some people would call them but anyway ladies and gentlemen i hope you guys enjoyed put your put your opinions down below and i'll see you guys in the next part see you guys then